number one new bookworms, get ready as the wolf is finally coming to the city. But before heading to the biggest and baddest book sale, here's all you need to know about the big bad wolf. Why he chose the name? Because it is a popular fairy tale character. Every kid, every child knows uh, Big Bad Wolf and Red, Reader, Red Riding Hood, Big Bad Wolf and Three Little Pigs. So it is a fairy tale character. And when we, was, when we started the business, it is very, very small. And we need to um, create that curiosity for people to know what it is. So if we just call it ABC Book Sale or, or you know, then people doesn't understand. Uh, the uniqueness or wanted to find out more. So it doesn't sound too corporate like a company making an announcement. So a lot of things are very interactive. Um, the customers felt a very strong affiliation with the wolf himself. And of course the children, the children are extremely excited with the Big Bad Wolf, yes. <laughs> the event will bring a lot of good books at very affordable price. It is going to be again a signature event, so it's going to be 24 hours non-stop. So that is the unique thing about Big Bad Wolf, where we encourage customers to come anytime they want. They do not have to worry uh, what time the door closes, do I have enough time to shop, what time should I reach there, and there's so many concerns, right? And if you really think that you're going to bring, buy a lot of books, please bring uh, a wheel, you know, like a, a, a luggage with wheels because that will help you bring the books home very easily as well. What is the best time to come? It will be actually be after 2 a.m. to maybe 9 a.m. I think to from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. will be a pretty yeah, quiet time if they don't want to get into a very huge crowd. Uh, for Dava, we are bringing 1 million. So we have 40% uh, children titles. 40% uh, non-fiction titles. So non-fiction, of course, is across many categories. So we have cooking, we have business, we have self-help, we have religion, we have autobiography, history, and so forth. Uh, uh, so fiction titles will be 20%. Um, first of all, it stems up from the mission itself. So originally, when we wanted to start uh, the business 10 years ago, it was all about promoting reading and promoting and advocating the English uh, literacy. In countries where reading is uh, culture or habit is not there and also books are not affordable. And we believe that books should not be one of those items where it's only limited to, to become a luxury item where only certain people can afford. So books should be accessible to everyone. That will happen is all because of uh, GK. So they visited us last year and we get to know what a fantastic organisation they are and their mission. There are a lot of people who still live below poverty line. So uh, we, we were just amazed and very inspired by GK's mission. I mean, it's, it's a tremendous tall order to do to end poverty in Philippines. And we just hope that uh, through books, we could help to contribute in a small way or whatever way we could. It is very rare that in the first year in a new country, we can do three events. Yeah, it's very, very rare. I mean, we have never done it in any country before that we can do three events in our first year. But of course, with uh, the support of, of GK, they able to do that and uh, help us organize uh, and pave the way for us for Philippines. So I know everyone is very, very excited. So the event is 24 hours. It doesn't close its door. So take your plan your time properly. With over a million books made available, there is surely a book for everyone. So don't forget, November 23 to December 2, 2018 at the 10th Azuela Cove, Davao City. See you there!